Yes. Wait, we have... Oh, wait, there's supposed to be four of them. You're right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least in the summons. All right, game one here. Slam versus Goof. Try and... Uh, all right, Goof, uh, this time he's got the Inkling coming out. I mean, I've, I know he's been playing it today, but I guess, you know, he's going to stick with the Inkling main, because why not? Inkling's a solid character to see us. Got good dash speed as well. So hopefully we can see a little bit of that gameplay. Yeah, and also... Uh, I'm glad that Slam opted for the Thunder pretty early, even though it's not the highest percents. Uh, seems in, a game like, like, in a game like this, what's up, Opti? Seems like on? you need a commentator over here. I do need a commentator. And who better than the old Opster? Oh, uh, one second. Okay, I'll give you one second. What's the one second? All right. Oh, that new down smash. I forgot. Holy forgot about it. Okay, I'll throw. Okay. Yeah, Nestella has that cheeky air dodge, it seems like, so why not get you out of your troubles that way? Okay, so I was playing Inkling a lot earlier. One of the most important things that I found out about Inkling is her bomb play. You gotta be and, absolutely oh accurate God, with that. Speaking of that, oh. speaking of accurate, they both uh, completely uh, traded that up B. So me, all right, not as accurate as you would like to see, but still good. You know, <laughs> hey, we're even at least. That's good. But back of what I'm saying, uh, I found out through just playing Inkling, the bomb covers so much. Oh, absolutely. It gets in the way of so many things. I found out that it can even block Ganondorf's down B if he. Goes wow, right into it. So, yeah, so it, the fact that it's projectile as well is definitely nice. Everyone says to look out for the roller. No, that's overrated. Mm. Forget about that. Look at the bomb. But granted, you can always still want to look out for the roller, anyways, because if you get hit by it, uh, from what I saw on Goof, Twitter said that, uh, from so on Twitter, Goof said that honestly, it's better to go for forward smash, and I can't disagree with her. That you know, is such a good option. I haven't option. seen much of Forest Smash, but, you know, we will see him a little bit more of it right now and see how effective it is. You see, now that uh, the knockback, I believe it no longer is as reduced as it used to be or if reduced at all. So Forward Smash is still extremely powerful if hit by the sweet spot. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, Up Smash is good, but, for example, on Battlefield, it's not going to kill as early as Forward Smash. Okay, interesting. Grant, I've also never seen anyone use Down Smash, but that's probably for a good reason. Right. Wow, it's Good job on uh, Slam, keeping the pressure going. And using that up air to his advantage as well, because recognizing it's not the same as Smash 4, and it's going to be more of a drag down effect. I and legitimately thought that he already pulled out the down smash. No. No, down smash is weird in this game where it just stays out forever. You can just pull it out, and it'll just keep going, and it, it, it's so good at covering like options. What I love about Smash is that there's these, there's these very, very minor advantages in most, if not every character's toolkit. For example, Lucario or a... Inkling bombs, and it seems like for Ness, one of his exa uh, one of his uh, greatest tools is his animations. <laughs> it always feels like he's already got his move out, but no, not really. It's a little dismissive sometimes, and you know that's a good thing when you're fighting an opponent and they might not know what you're gonna throw out next. One thing that people don't really talk about much is one of the base biggest advantages in any Smash Me game is misinformation. If you're able to just convince your opponent that you're gonna do something completely different and go oh for something crazy God. like that, wow, good stuff. Getting in a zone. Saying you can't jump all day. It's that's my also, time to shine. That's also something that you gotta do against Ness. You gotta get in his face because he doesn't have that much to get off it except maybe jab and down tilt. Jab, neutral air. I mean neutral air's not he doesn't have that like, you know, strong strong as knockback as he used to, but it's still a solid get off me That was sick. I personally the burrow was very hard to land that up air off of, so uh -huh. amazing on Boost Part for her actually being able to get that. Right, you know taking the you know hits as far as they can get is always nice. Speaking of hits, what's the play here? Well, just kind of waiting. Probably trying to bait out a jump so she could get that right. up there, but yeah, unfortunately she, not. She almost it. had it, you know, close. Just a little, uh, especially when she was on that top platform, there was only so much she could do. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, I'm trying trying to to be a oh, move. hey, the back goes there. Nope, I knew it. You know, a little more pummels. Up there, is that going to do it? Oh, Ooh. good stuff on Slam. So good on, uh, I'm actually very impressed with Ness's new up air. Granted, in uh, Smash 4, it was really good for landing, it was really good for killing, but it's the exact same thing in Smash 4, it's just a multi-hit. Meaning that if someone yeah, manages to uh, parry I initially, it, I was, because I, I play a little Ness myself, right? And I enjoy the character. Um, initially, I was like, what's this new up air? I'm not feeling as much. Then I'm like, it has its uses. If anything, I could see it maybe being better. I don't know. Honestly, like, this is up there in, in Smash 4 is actually godlike. Honestly, it's I feel ups, like... It feels like Smash 2nd in the air. It has, it has that range that, you know, giant Mario had, as you will. But there's something about this cool drag down effect and that multi-hit that it gives it a really unique property that I think is really cool. That gives... I don't know. It gives them a little bit more edge. And so, Goop, unfortunately, she doesn't seem to be too comfortable with the angling, but that's understandable considering how close that was and she still lost, so might as well go for the Sonic. Go for what's comfortable. Yeah, yeah it's Sonic to play here, possibly? I'm honestly, not sure. Honestly, though, Sonic at this point is looking even better for Goop. You know why? Because her playstyle for Sonic was always offensive, 
but she had to learn eventually. She has to kind of stall aside me because it's so good with him. But now it's gone. Now it's different. So she can finally play the rushdown she's always wanted to. To game two, um, I'm like I was saying earlier. I'm kind of happy that Goof can finally play the character uh, that she likes the way she wants to. She can finally play offensive Sonic. And things, honestly, I don't know. I'm not a Ness man myself, but things just look like so much brighter for Ness. The future looks brighter for Ness, I would say. I say the future looks brighter from nearly every character. So to give you an idea, I was talking. I don't think the slime knows that I'm another Ness man. But I was talking to him about Ness. He's like, yeah, if you think about Ness, don't pick a Ness. Huh? He said, if you're thinking about Ness, don't pick a Ness. Uh-oh. Uh. give you an idea of, like, the perspective of Ness. Uh-oh. Slam doesn't know. No, That's okay. It's, it's Ness is good. He's just not who he used to be. No, it's not even that. It's... The things that they took away from Ness, and then the things they did to compensate for it, wasn't enough. So, you're saying the up air change isn't the best? No, the up air change is fine. I'm talking about mainly like with his recovery. Okay. They, they reduced the ability to just kind of like kill super early, but they kept the ability to basically gimp him if you take the hit. Oh no, so, that's actually terrible. Yeah, I mean it can still kill, no way, it's not like it's like not going to kill, but at the same time... Oh, we saw a slam do last time. Know, yeah, at the same time it just doesn't kill as early anymore, so it's like one of the situations where they took that away from him and they didn't really give him anything else for his recovery to compensate for that. Besides the indicator of where he's going to go, which, I mean, if you play Ness, you don't need to worry about that. Okay. There, so that was a good little uh, perfect parry there. I'm just saying, the more I watch these parries, the more I want them to be centralized in the meta. Parries it. look it amazing. It's not even like a full week, though. So, I mean, once you use the parry, you probably see it a lot more. Of course, but I just I want to see it become absolutely centralized. I can see it being amazing and important in most playstyles, of course. Mm -hmm. Except for maybe Zoners, I don't know. It seems like, uh, I guess Ness still has a little bit of stall with the Dumby. That's, uh, okay. No, yeah, the stall with Dumby is actually pretty funny. The stall, like, uh, Dumby actually got really buffed. The Dumby actually has a hitbox now. That's good. So it's so, like, like it Lucas, but better. No, because Lucas always had hitbox. Yeah. They just finally gave it to Lucas. So I just finally gave it to Ness. But, I mean, I guess the way to put it is Ness's isn't on the release, it's on the startup. While Lucas, this is on the release. Well, I honestly thought I'd be killed himself with that up here. Yeah, no, close enough for it. It seems easier to kill yourself with up here now, honestly. Up here, gonna catch it. Alright, so, uh, actually commentating this match, I got my partner back with me. Yeah, Hello. Back in the old uh, Frosty Strikes back. Alright, so take a look at this. What is your opinion on this matchup already? I mean, I haven't seen much. But, yeah. it, from past experiences from last game, you know, it seems like. It, I don't know, I feel like this there's probably a ton to favor Sonic. Um. I feel like he can keep Ness in disadvantage while, but so far, I don't, know, I don't know. It looks like he's not using uh, these factors as much as well as I think he should. But just another thing, not really for competitive, more in my oh opinion. Oh my god. Oh, he really tried to go do him. Do you really try to. Is that still. Geez, it okay, it looks like he still has kill power. Yeah, it's, it's hard to talk sometimes. I get it. No, it's just. <laughs> shady. Man, no. No, don't do that. Okay. I mean, listen, I am not really root for Ness and Alright, uh, you know, no bias. I, I'm i not really rooting for anybody because I like both these characters, but what I'm seeing... Oh, oh that was so God. close, but she Good was able stop. to react to yeah, that. Yeah. Goof's like, I'm, I'm going to spin that shot here because there's only so much I can do at this point. Landing up here seems to be something that's extremely common with a Slime Shady, but I can't blame him for doing that. I it mean, looks really good. Right. I mean, we were talking about what uses it have, and so far he's taking advantage of the, you know, the new uniqueness to it. Oh my god, new I love new how combo. Spin Dash is useful now. Because I always thought that uh, there's a lot of things You mean in um, homing attack? Yeah, homing attack. Okay, I was saying, I was like, homing attack is a different move. But uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because it just does a good job uh, keeping the pressure going, and you just follow up so much easier with it. I'm so happy that Ultimate did this. They finally made a lot of the bad moves on the characters that are overall okay, or at least uh -huh. good. They finally made some of their moves good. For example, 
pits up up tilt uh -huh. is actually useful for combos now. Really? You no, know, I'm liking a little pit myself, so that's good to know. Because they definitely changed the M lag on his forward air neutral air, and that, you know, he can actually use his aerials more, which is nice. I was telling, testing this earlier with your brother, and uh, apparently Palutena's uh, Nair, since it has reduced end lag, can finally do what I always wanted to. It can combo into up tilt. Oh, I'm saying that's say. I was going to say, it can also combo to itself, get three or four of those, and, you know, carry him off stage as well, so why not? Right now. We're not talking about that. Oh, we're talking about getting them grabs because obviously Ness wants that back for right now. Honestly, she probably could have killed with a uh, back there with Sonic, but I, I mean, don't know. sometimes you're just at the awkward stage point where Ness is not going to work. Yeah. All right, so this is actually looking very close. And, uh, Slam could actually take this. No, but the home, oh, the, 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 the classic just sit there did not work this time. You know, maybe could it maintain shield pressure more. Right? Yeah, these two are doing so well at pressuring each other. Always being, being able to pair that spring that was crazy out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing it out, because why not? Oh, oh my god. Jeez, what is this? This pressure is too much for a slam to handle. Oh no, my god, be, running right into the it's, spring. Honestly, it's not looking like too much to handle because he's been able to actually be able to punish it really well. I mean, he's punishing it only so much. Only so much, but being able to punish it in the first place, it's really good. Not being able to die yet, though. Oh These two are neck and neck being able to pressure each other with all this movement option. Um, Sonic is always going to be constant pressure, but you're always afraid of that grab that slam that you just was about to go for. I mean, yeah. There's a reason he's throwing these options out because there's only so much Slam can do. Still not dying to Sonic. There's so much actual rage. Oh like, there's God. actual rage in this match. It's Smash World all over again. Not dead, though. Look 55 at the time. seconds. 180, 123. What's the play here? Thunder from the ledge. Just trying to stall as much as you can. And after Goof all, walling out. Probably looking for, I mean, he might look for the time at this point, it seems like. Still trying to find that up air. Sonic's just moving too much. Yeah, she's doing really well with this amazing movement. Still not dead at 191. 191. Nearly 200%. Shit. Okay. I don't understand Finish. what's going on. Oh, All these two not killing yet. What's going on? I mean, no, there's only so many times you can spin that spring. I mean, you actually have to get the hits you want. But right now, I mean. Oh, it's gonna not kill yeah, yet. No. Dash. Trying to kill from the top. Check. No! Oh, it got barely with the thunder. Thunder. Come in with the thunder. It's gonna be a 2-0 oh, victory. Good stuff on slam. Jeez, that was so close. That was really good. Yeah.